Alright, howdy cowdies, hope you're going good. Weekly walkabout time, we've been flat knacker again, we've got heaps of cool stuff. Check out the George Jensen Sterling Silver Candlestick, uh, designed by Harold Nilsson, I think. Uh, marked post-1945 produced, just a beautiful thing, Sterling Silver, 500 grams, give or take. Ripper of a bit. Got some other nice stuff. Little Stuart Crystal paperweight. Couple of nice bits, I think, of 18 karat gold. Cigarette lighters, Zippos, and Ronsons. The Bushman's Friend, nice big sort of hunting knife over the back. It's got all on the blade. Bushman's Friend, I think, made in Sheffield in England. More nice little perfume bottles. Costume jewelry. Really nice stereo sight, stereoscope slide collection. They're all from the American fleet coming out to Australia about 19, I can't remember, 1908 or something like that. It's got the viewer there as well. Really nice collection. Andy Warhol watch. There's some other cool stuff in the jewellery can that I'm not going to show you everything though. Here's a nice big sideboard made by Fleur. I think it's the Fleur Villa model, but it has been ebonised. Looks like someone stained it with some sort of black stain. Pretty cool thing. Nice little red adjustable plastic retro mirror. Nice little yellow mushroom lamp. Little Gazzini picnic set. That's some cool vintage clothing. This little sort of dance, sort of bikini sort of outfit with the Carmen Miranda skirt and headdress. There you go, the big Morrison's Clothing Company, Australian Clothing Company sign we've put with a nice sort of hand coloured photograph. Signed Billy Thorpe sort of collection with original photographs from Sunbury. It's pretty cool. Rock and roll. Some good records. All English. Bowie, Mark Knopfler, Queen, John Lennon, George Harrison, and the Corgis. Nice big lot of jewellery. Some great vintage men's and ladies' clothing. It's a great little Studi Baker Hawk sort of bodice. Uh, some fantastic sort of jumpsuits. This purple one's an absolute ripper with a sort of lace-up front. Ladies' coat, some cool sort of 70s sort of hippie, af, uh, caftan sort of stuff. Some nice men's coats. This trench coat's really cool. A couple of cool pairs of jeans, including the Johnny Ramone Vans sort of stretch skinny legs. Yeah, there's lots of nice sort of clothing. Retro stuff, vintage stuff, cool um, Levi's jacket, and then some other sort of stuff, costumey sort of gear with this sort of gold metal thread. Uh, mixed group lots, more clothing, it's all sort of nautical themed books and charts and stuff. Uh, what else we got? Some more records. Group lot of mixed items, heaps of the straw and sort of placemats and coasters. Another big lot, three boxes of records, some old sort of cigar box guitars and an old Japanese sort of SG copy. It needs a little bit of a tidy up. CDs and DVDs, souvenir dolls, more records, Beatles stuff, old Amstrad computer. Pretty cool little group of old pushies. Little orange one over the back there with the sort of stars on the frame and the forks. The uh, fixed wheel it is, and the two little sort of ladies' bikes there. This one's this Hallmark one, I think. It's got pretty cool sort of pinstriping and stuff on the frame. Got some nice jewellery and gear in this little cabinet. Swarovski brooch in amongst that group. Um, some sort of point of sale display stands. Mannequin. Cool lot of sort of Hawthorne framed gear, including the jumper, which is signed by, says down the bottom, 2003 signed jersey. Um, cool little retro coffee table and a couple of Coroma stools. The fantastic big Baltic pine kitchen dresser. And we've got the Jelly Belly point of sale stand for Jelly Belly gourmet jelly beans. And the big Haribo bear as well. Cool retro light fitting. Good little group of audio gear. Big lot of soft toys. What else is down the back? Pictures. Wind chimes and other stuff. These are nice, the old willow galvanised watering cans with some fishing rods. 
Um, books, sort of kids' toys and stuff. More fishing gear. Some Biggles books. Some old sort of street signs, including everyone's favourite Swamp Road. Good sets of Australian books, History of Australia. And then the Steel Rudd set. Some modernist works on paper. Most of them are signed. Big abstract sort of things. And this guy's pretty cool, or this young lass. Big sort of garden sculpture. It's a little bit sort of damaged here and there. There are no marks on it. No signature to tell us who's made it. And it's a pretty cool thing. Reminds me a bit of a Greg Irvine or someone like that. Um, some more records. Kiss, Alice Cooper. Uh, there's a few in that group lot. There you go. Um, Australian records in excess. There's like whole John English's friggin' discography in there. Big lot of bells, model kits. A wine bottle rack with a nice wine bottle corker. A couple of nail guns. Pretty cool big sh um, Shinano aircraft carrier model kit, which looks to be complete and unmade with nice easy built set. Perfumes and aftershaves. There's other stuff in those boxes. Aboriginal art. Both of them are unsigned. Nice big John Crew oil painting there of ducks. Jeez, it's hard to get it in the right sort of light, isn't it? But it's signed and dated 1923. It's a nice little oil painting as well. About 18 or 1900, give or take. It's an interesting little bit. All the details on the back. I've just forgotten the artist's name. Joseph Zeisel or something like that. S-Z-U-Y-C-E-L. It's kind of cool. Bit of a naive kind of cool thing. All right, Mr. Machine, the kid's toy made by Ideal, some nice cutlery sets, some horses, a couple of cut-down signs, which is a bit of a shame, a um, couple of alphas, fantastic Hughes chauffeured limousines driver's cap, oodles and oodles of poodles, triangle truck, big brass eagle, some nice old dolls. The cards tray's fantastic. Here's the steam engine back in this week, and we've got extra bits to go with it and some ephemera and stuff as well. Some spring scales. Cool little group of sort of squeaky toy poodles, including this French guy. He has Ace with his beret, his cigarette, and his little string of garlic cloves. <laughs> some good ephemera in here. There's a lovely old um, scrap Victorian scrap album. World War II civilian gas mask. These are good things. These are Villac, the French-made little wooden kids' toys. Little Citroen cars a ripper. Really like this little copper sort of water boiler to go on your stovetop. Enamelled Garden Vale station sign. Really nice old bird's eye maple frame. A couple of grey Nicks cricket backs. Ripper old Wertheim sewing machine. Big oil painting on frame there. That's all the details. Colin Whiteman, Aboriginal artist. What else have we got? Some tribal bits. It's a signed Michael Lunig print. Signed in pencil on margin down there. Some military gear, including the engine starting cartridges. Which I'm pretty sure would have been to start an aeroplane up. Chinese porcelain figures. A couple of bits of tribal. A big bowl is quite heavy. Nice little couple of pairs of the candlesticks. Good little group. A lot of Australian pottery depression glass. A little Wembley kookaburra. He's had his beak off. But he's a good little bit. Uh, English stuff. More poodles. Some Scottish and Irish porcelain. A couple of nice little Art Deco clocks. A couple of bits of Beswick. Dalton cabinet plate with the nice French glass dessert set. Australian books. Historical stuff with a nice frame print of Cool Art House out in Summers. Big lot of projector lamps, cigarette tins. He's cool. Little money box of an injured rabbit. I really like the way that someone's fixed the bottom of it. The foot's come off and they've just stuck it on any which way but loose. <laughs> the Morse code tapper with some other little bits, some nice Chinese or Oriental carved pieces of soapstone and stuff. Uh, matchbox dinkies, nice little collection of tins. The old champion spark plug tins are ripper. It's got a spark plug in there. Two more nice deco clocks. Some more poodles, including that one. 
<laughs> railway, American Railway, sew-on patches, a couple of nice eight millimeter boxed kids' films, some old point of sale signage and price tags, train tickets and ephemera, a model kit of a caribou with a book on the dam busters, some more nice deco clocks, cigarette and tobacco packaging, remote control poodle, more matchbox dinkies. Nice big uh, first stole. Nice collection of Susie Cooper. Good little lot of records. Neil Young, Bob Dylan. Depression glass. The little plates are depression glass. The two lids are uranium. This one does have a little bit of damage, I can see, though. Nice collection of 1970s blue glass. The big jars and the rest. They're pretty cool. Little spice canisters. Little group of Australian pottery. A little koala, he's got a chip off his ear. There you go, but he's made by Rose, Rosedale Moss. A little purse goes with that group. And then we've got some more poodles. A really nice book on the War Memorial. Bickford's Sal Vital advertising card. <coughs> you've got the Melrose. You've got the cool little lot of poodles. This little drink set's pretty amazing, but we're just missing two cups off the back. We've got four cups. It should have six. A couple of nice bits of English art pottery, the Clevedon vase, and the nice Brenham Barnstable cup and saucer. Nice mantle clock. The big Louis Vuitton bag. It is right. He's a ripper of a bit. We've got some more advertising signs. Quick enamelled morning and afternoon tea and coffee. Two more poodles. That one on the right is Gail's favourite. Spaghetti noodle poodle or something. Two bits of Carlton Ware, nice bit of Bakelite, the malt dispenser. These are great little poodle plasterware, 1950s wall plaques. Got a nice sort of galley style glass vase or bowl. John Campbell, Clarice Cliff, Mailing and Tunstall. He's nice, the Winton teapot. <clears throat> and we've got some nice stuff up the top. We've got these two nice poodle decanters. Fantastic McVitie and Price Biscuit Tin, the Blue Bird, but it is modelled after the Martin Brothers Grotesque Birds. Poodle Lamp, Clarice Cliff. Um, poodle Carnival Glass Trinket Boxes, the nice bronze. Sterling Silver Collar, really nice Vic Greenaway Charger. It's got the little paperwork to go with it. Really nice bit. But anyway, guys, that'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. See you tomorrow night. Should be a good one.